Greetings to you all on this fine day the Lord has made. Peace to you all. Hungry fire. Hungry fire. World hunger is like a man locking his refrigerator up with a padlock and not letting his children at the food saying, why is God letting my children starve? A third of people are hungry, a third are starving, a third are obese. There is enough food in the world for all to eat. Don't blame God, blame sin. God has kept his promise. The seasons come and go, the crops come every year. And he has given us the knowledge to develop new crops and rear animals and treat them right. So as to yield more food. After the flood, God promised us that he will preserve life and see that the conditions on earth continue. Sun and rain meet as rainbow. Provided that we preserve the sanctity of human life, to treat it as sacred, to treat human life as sacred in the image of him. Life is sacred. Life is in the blood. He allows us to survive because he wants his family. He keeps the world alive until he gets the heaven family that he wants, counting down. And then will come a new Noah time, end times, coming very soon. Not destruction by flood, but total destruction by fire. A lion roars before it attacks, and God always sends his prophets before there is disaster. The Lord says, if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine in all its fullness. We need to remember, the world is on loan to us. God can never be in our debt, but the other way round, we in his. He's a holy God. Who requires a holy people. Our life is in his blood, in the Son. God saved you from himself. God saved you for himself. And God saved you by himself. He interposed against his own justice that was coming for you. The divine justice of God saves us or condemns us. Hungry fire. Peace.